it's also it has a frightening elegance in its depiction of uh, what is going on. So I want to try to show further um, how Zizek has uh, failed to muster the piercing power to reach Dasein and therefore has passed it off um, apparently by coordinating it to Claude Levi Strauss's uh, form of kind of ultimate transcendentalism where instead of um, one can say as in Kant trying to hone in on in our experience um, what is necessary for any experience and um, then we can exclude certain things like is it necessary that there be city hall in one's experience of course not um, like there I can also stand um, in front of a beach where I can't see city hall so, but is it necessary for a beach to be present in any experience? And so on. And then you whittle down and then um, apparently Kant uh, sees fit to more or less confirm the Cartesian view, which still holds sway and which gives us the sense that mathematics, since they are very felicitous for representing space in the mind, um, correspond to the... Uh, Uh, the result of the reflections. They correspond to the result that the only thing that's uh, really necessary is space, but space um, always happens in some kind of human sequence, so as to be able to correspond to um, the mass of uh, Newton and Leibniz and the others who developed uh, these systems that let you go into um, uh, micro-calculations. Um, instead of coming to that result, the Claude Levi Strauss result is that each culture has its own experience. So we get more into the direction of Dugan, of course, here to the cultural. Um, it's not really cultural pluralism because pluralism is said at the level, at a different level of analysis. I want to say at the political level, but maybe. Uh, political, philosophical, but it, not at the level of phenomenology, not at the level of simply trying to see directly um, what's going on. And then I think in the anthropological or ethnological, ethnological context, we would have to go and um, do some research or do some um, participant witness um, activity and then try to confirm this view uh, so that we can have evidence for it that there's um, as it were a globe or a world of happenings that one culture is um, able to experience and to con constitute their life or experience that is not uh, fully available to another culture. So, for instance, um, in the Kyoto School, Count uh, Koki wrote about um, this concept of uh, style uh, as it's uh, translated style or elegance of a certain period. But it's a long story of whether one can at all uh, bridge the meaning gap there. So instead of these uh, cultural transcendental distinctions, what Heidegger does is uh, he pulls back from the question of the um, transcendental at all. He's not even, for him, this question is a question inside Dasein. So to give more of the measure of Dawson, I want to look at it from the point of view of somebody Heidegger studied early on, uh, Bishop George Barclay or Berkeley. So in the, I think we have a perfect image of what it means to go beyond phenomenology, which is based in consciousness. So uh, in phenomenology, we can say the moon is the size it is in the sky. 
uh, for our conscious glance or um, that as it is in a certain space when we stand in it, um, it seems to us that the space will go on roughly like this, um, even if we go a little bit uh, further to the north, the south, or um, indeed in any direction up, down, and we don't know um, whether it's night or day as in uh, Nietzsche's Madman anymore, but um, in any direction it ought to go on roughly like this perhaps unless um, maybe we hit a black hole or something that's um, totally unfamiliar to us. Uh, this um, is a phenomenological direct judgment as it were, or a description of what our judgments about how things are. But uh, what Heidegger says and is that um, we can always kind of hang back from that and see that we're making that kind of judgment and that it's contained within uh, Dasein. So in Berkeley's uh, picture, he says the horse is in the stable, and he's repeatedly saying, um, as I've mentioned multiple times before, he's repeatedly saying, um, you know, an Irishman uh, can't um, can't stay with these truths, meaning that of these other people who are um, asserting the mathematical material reality of the um, external nature. Um, he says rather um, essay percipe, by which he means that either the eyes of God are on something, so the horses in the stable means it's still there, but since there's no inner core to anything, I can look at it from one side, another side closer, farther away. Um, but it's always just a vantage. God is seeing all the vantages at once, and he's seeing the vantages of the things that we aren't present to. So the horse is in the stable, it's still in the stable, even though I'm not there. But all its vantages, all the perceptible, uh, phenomenological approaches to it um, actually exist. Um, so this uh, quote unquote God, then I think this is part of Dasein. Um, so we assume things are still there even when we're not looking at them. Um, in this way, um, Heidegger can say there's more content um, than mere consciousness, than what we're merely conscious of. Uh, and then you could um, ask the question, is the discussion and uh, um, attempt to see things that way uh, what we're actually conscious of rather than, um, as it were, the literal truth of the essay per se, um, of this God that holds things in some super sense place. So, so in other words, who can make sense of uh, these claims to uh, know, have the past as an object as we get uh, always in discussions about physics and the, um, what the uh, Jesuit mathematician came up with, the, um, uh, the heat event being a kind of origin or big being, um, all these things which are not available to experiment but must be um, brought into life through um, inferences drawn out of the heat event, which is still present out of the, um, this is, uh, the, the static radiation that you can hear in a radio wave. Um, so I think that's um, at least a worthwhile meditation on Dasein is um, compare Dasein to, the God, to a God concept and then think of reality as what's visible uh, to God. And um, this is not what this is uh, beyond its ouster. Uh, it's beyond uh, the ouster bewus sign, I guess, that, oh, yeah, extra conscious. It's an extra conscious realm which is posited, but which at the same time we kind of take to be true, like that something be sitting, a building behind me is still there. It, the past fills the same uh, space up to 14 billion years and beyond 14 billion years. 